Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. I was a little worried I wasn't going to be able to record this today. Originally planned on recording it yesterday, but nope, decided to do it today. Kyle's feeling a little spacey today because I just got back from lunch and I might have had a too tall of a tall of Blue Moon for lunch. So, this will be fun. Not enough to get me, like, you know, like, woo, but, like, enough where I'm feeling it. Um, this might be a, a little bit of a shorter video, because unlike, you know, last week's where I had planned it out in great detail, didn't do that this week, because, um, didn't think I was going to film one this week, but... I'm glad I waited to today to film because I got a lot of shit in the mail today. Yesterday I didn't get th anything, so we have a lot to open from the mail. I haven't opened any of it yet. I know what it all is, but how's everybody doing? Okay, thanks for telling me. It's my turn to speak now. Um, my week's been different. Spent a lot of money. Some of it out of my control. Most of it is my fault. Um, but you know, when rent and student loan payments are due, you know, you kind of get down a little bit. Uh, so, and then all of the stuff with live sales going on, um, I'm glad people are doing live sales, except, um, my wallet isn't happy with me right now, so I just bought more stuff from both Julie Gulf Coast Stitchers and McKenna's Live at the Attic sale last night. I was watching both at the same time, I didn't want to miss out on anything. Uh, so yeah, but luckily, I got paid today, so, or unluckily, it depends on if I end up buying anything after today. God, I hope not. I hope not. Anyway. Hi, Denny. So, yeah, let me see you. Danny hasn't been in the any of the videos since my first one I came back. Oh, she's a cat though. Ow! God, I cat. Okay. Okay, we good. Okay, so to start out. Uh let's do some shout outs. Um, first one's a, a new floss tuber that I just, she's got two videos out right now. I love her dearly. I can't wait for, for her to put out more. Okay, I need to move this. Okay. Blue Horse Yellow Cow is her YouTube name. Her name is Linda, and oh my god. Linda, Linda's just amazing. She discovered my videos a couple of days ago, and then I had to immediately turn around and watch all of hers, all two of hers, and they're just, oh my god, I love her dearly. Um, within the first, like, minute and a half of her second video, she tells us she's fucking throwing back a beer, which, that's the kind of person that I want in my life. So, you need to go watch her. She's just very chill, very relaxed, you know. At least that's how she comes off as. She said she was very nervous. But I love, she's just, she's a delight. I'm jealous because she's going to StitchCon, but you know. What can you do about that? Go watch her for, she's got two videos. You'll knock her out in literally have an hour. Because her first video is only about 10 minutes. And then her second, I mean, she's just gold. She's gold, I love her dearly. So go watch Linda. Okay, 
Now, these next two, I've known about them. Just haven't watched them. Don't ask why. Life gets busy. Um, first, I just want to give a shout out to Julie Golf Coast Stitcher because she posted the sweetest thing about me on Instagram. Then I do immediately turn around, go subscribe to her, and watch her videos. And I bought some stuff from her live stream last night. Everybody, okay, m more people are watching her than they are watching me. So y'all already know who she is. And if you don't, go look her up. I'll have her linked below. I think if I remember to do that. Um, oh, she's just so much fun. She is, she's hysterical. She was so nervous about her live stream last night, and I'm like, you're doing great. <sighs> so, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. They, we're gonna be best friends. I'm gonna be best friends with everybody. I feel like I am already, even if I don't know it. I'm gonna be best friends. And then, Snug Harbor Crafts. Debbie and Kef. I can't, you know, I'm surprised I haven't watched these two yet. They are just so much fun. I watched their most recent video and they're just, oh my god, they're just like the greatest. I don't want to say the greatest because I don't, you know, I don't want to put anybody else down, but they're just a great duo for Floss. They're just so much fun to watch. I know I'm repeating a lot, but that might be the alcohol talking. Yeah, I'm just, I'm a subscriber for life. Just the way that Debbie gets into her stories, it's just, it's great. I'm like, oh, I know people like this be in my life. And Kev, she's just like, she's really cool. Yeah. Don't get offended by anything I just said. I might not have sounded excited. I'm excited, trust me, I'm excited. I love when I watch people I haven't watched before that everybody else has. Yeah, okay. Go watch them if you haven't. But once again, I feel like more people are watching them than me, so y'all already know who they are. And if you don't, go watch them. I'll link them below if I remember. Okay, and then finally, I just gotta give uh, just uh, just the biggest of shout outs to Jesse Marie does stuff because you know she put up a challenge for me the other day it was an unspoken challenge but I took it as a challenge you know I got bored one night and when I get bored I just start scrolling through people's Instagrams and I was just liking a, a whole bunch of shit of hers way back to literally her first post and so I had to message her being like, hey, sorry, I just blew up your Instagram notifications, but like, I just, I got bored. And she's like, well, I'd say you'd like to lot." And then, then she decided to go onto my page and then like all, all of my photos. Now I only have about 50 posts up, so it didn't take her too long to like all of them, but I took that as a challenge. And at the time I was too lazy to do the same for her, but yesterday... I decided to like all 905 of her Instagram posts. That was fun. It took a good 40 some odd minutes, not including when I had to stop to get me a Clay by Kim Needleminder. More on that in a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, Jesse Marie. You're amazing. And all that stuff. So thank you for liking all of my photos. And I'm glad you weren't annoyed by me liking all of yours. Because I feel like if I had that amount of photos on Instagram and I saw 900 some notifications, I'd get very annoyed. But you know what? You're different. And we love you for it. I love you for it. We're gonna be best friends. We're gonna we're gonna be just the bestest of friends. Yeah. Okay. So, what's been up? Sort of. Uh, work is still a pain in my ass. That's nothing new. Um. It's just just me. Kind of wishing I was in a different place right now. It's because I hate my job. 
but you know, everybody hates their job. Because then it wouldn't be their job, it would just be a hobby. I don't want to get too deep right now, so let's switch over here. So as I had touched on about a minute and a half ago, I had to pause liking all of Jesse Marie's photos to go to a Clay by Kim sale. And y'all remember how upset I was last week that I missed out on a very, very specific needle minder that she had up. Well, guess who finally got one of them? I did. You know, I just, something told me, hey, try again, maybe she's got more that she, and I didn't think she ever did really duplicates of a certain you know, type of needle minder. But I'll be damned if I wasn't there at exactly noon my time and there was the needle minder. And I don't think I'd ever had my hands move so quick. I got me a needle minder. I got me my death's head hawk moth dragon needle minder. I originally intended on recording me getting the needle minder, um, but I realized I'd been liking Jesse Maria's photos for too long, and then by the time that I'd realized it was literally 30 seconds to noon, I just had to fucking go. But hey, I got one. So I don't think I'll wait until my next video to unbox it. What I think I'm going to do is whenever that comes in the mail, I'm just gonna film myself unboxing and then just insert the clip in the next video. Sound like a plan? Great, I'm glad you agree. Okay, so I got me, and this is why I'm glad I waited until today to record the video, because I got me some fucking haul this week, y'all. Um, Quantity-wise, it's more than last week, but, um, yeah. So, um, let's start out with the stuff that's that came in yesterday that I have already um, opened. Now, Trisha at 3 Owl Threads. Y'all know Trisha. She's just a darling person. Well, here's another one who had a live sale a couple of days ago. What was it? The 1st of September? So it would have been uh, last Saturday, I think. And, you know, I just get compelled to buy things. So I bought three things because why not? Okay. So the first thing I bought, and I think I have these in order of what I bought them. Okay, yeah. Okay, now this one I want to stitch for Christmas. It's Santa and Rudolph. Look how cute. Look how, and I really only got this one because it's cute. I don't, I'm not a big Christmas stitcher other than that Santa and Baby Jesus one I've got, but it, I just couldn't, I couldn't resist. And I don't remember if she had only one of these or two of these. I just wanted it because it's cute. Look at Rudolph. Look at him. Ain't he cute? Next one I got was Peter Pan. Look at all that shit that's going on. There's Peter, there's Wendy, there's Tinkerbell, and then I don't know who all else. Oh, Captain Hook, I guess. I didn't think that was Captain Hook, but I guess it is. And then I don't remember any character names out of that. I don't know who these bitches are. I, you know, it was just really cute. That alligator is really cute. So yeah. I got that one. And then the last one I got, now, okay. I don't like cats, but I love winter. Winter is my favorite season. And I almost didn't get this because I'm not a stitcher of cats, even though a good portion of my stash is cat related crap. But I got this, this is the winter cat. Look at how cute. What, like all of the soda 
these people, all of their designs are cute. And so I'm just like, you know what? I need more, I'm a winter person, so I need to stitch more winter stuff. So I got it. Look at how cute. Look at how cute. Look at the little snowman. I think I got it more for the snowman. Look how cute. Look at how cute. So yeah, that was from her live sale. And that's fairly decent. Prices, I think. Okay, so now time for my my mass amounts of haul here that I got in the mail today that I haven't opened. If you'll excuse me, I've got to get out my shitty-ass unicorn scissors. Once again, not good for cutting thread, but good for cutting anything else. I will say that every time. Okay, so, before I got my clay by cam yesterday, I had to... My main problem why I didn't get, because I had tried up both listings, the main problem I had was that I did not have a card saved. And the only way you can save a card is if you already make a purchase. So I had to go and purchase something on Etsy to save my card. And so I went to, I believe this is Mad for Needle Miner or something like that. I don't remember the name of the shop. What is the name of the shop? I feel like such an asshole. Mad for Miners. Mad for Miners. Yep. Okay. And so they had... Ooh, it feels like there's two in here. What? I only bought one. Okay. So... I'm trying to... Where'd they go? Oh, right here. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's open it up. It feels like, yeah. Oh, it's tissue paper. Oops, I accidentally cut through her card. I'm sorry. His card. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So, I originally bought bought it for this one. Misery is my favorite Stephen King book, and when I saw that Mad for Minders had a sale on a Misery Needle Miner, I had to get it. Danielle has a first edition cover of this, and I want it. But it's okay. I'll find one eventually. And then, as a consolation prize, just Mad for Minders gave me. That one's cute! That one's so cute! I'm really excited to, for this one, though. For this one. So, yeah. I'm sorry, I, for, I, who, what's your name? Dasmin. I'm sorry I cut through your card. Don't worry. I'll be a purchaser again, because you've got some fun stuff on your shop. So there's that. Okay, next one. Now I'm really excited for this one. Now I just want to just say, after my huge haul of out-of-print Mirabilias, I had a couple of people contact me saying, hey, I've got this, this, that, and whatever, do you want this one? And, you know, I had a couple of them. But here's one I hadn't had yet. And I gotta remember if this is the one I'm thinking of. Okay, yes. We have an unopened, out of print, Spring Queen. Out of print fairy came through again. So, God bless you, um... Patty, I'll just say your first name, because I don't know if you want me to say your full name or not. I've been getting very lucky finding... I I just feel like cross-stitching is the only place where I have any luck, because the amount of luck I've had to find as much as I have, as far as, like, like these out-of-print Mirabilia's, like... I feel like I've really hit the luck of the Irish, because I'm one-fourth Irish, so maybe it's coming in for that, you know. Because um, I'm not really lucky anywhere else. 
I haven't won the jackpot or the Powerball yet. Or Publisher's Clearinghouse. So, you know, I gotta have luck somewhere. And it seems to be in cross-stitching, which, cool. I'm fine with that. Okay, so there's that. And now, okay, I'm excited about this. And I'll, you're gonna see what. So my lovely Michelle Benny Stitchy. If you weren't following her on Instagram, please go follow Michelle Bandy Stitchy, this just amazing human being. Follow her on Instagram because she has weekly auctions. And and weekly giveaways on her channel. And um Well let's just say that I not only did I win one of her auctions. I won one of her giveaways on her channel. So, she sent both of them. Okay, I don't remember getting this one. Okay, but, so I had entered to win a Garden Blessing chart. I don't remember what magazine this is from. But this is what I won on her giveaway. I'll sit, I'll put that in my old lady house when I get to it. Same with those birds. And then... Oh, Michelle. <laughs> she left me a note. Here you go, best... Okay, nope, I'm not, I can't read it because then it ruins what this next one is. So, anyway, here's the thing that I won on her auction. And I'm very excited. And if you watched her video, you know exactly what it is that I won. Oh, it's cute. It's another clay by Kim Needleminder. Isn't it fucking cute? This one is, let's see. I don't know if this one says, no. So this is technically my first clay by Kim Needleminder, technically. Look at that. And I believe it's supposed to be like a butterfly design, I think. I don't know. But look how cute it is. Um, I almost didn't win this. I had a good volley of bids with another person who really wanted this. Um, I'm not going to say how much I spent on it, but... We had a good volley, and I mean, literally up to the second the auction ended, we were going back and forth with bids. And so Michelle couldn't tell which one of us had the last bid before it ended, so she used her Tiny Decisions app and spun, and I was the winner. So I'm very excited. Look at how cute. She almost wanted to keep this. And you know what, Michelle, if you wanted to keep it, I wouldn't have blamed you. Because I got I got one coming in. So I'm very excited. That's going on probably my Athena. But yeah, she gave me a little note say, here you go, bestie. Enjoy the chart and needle miter. And she put on a cute little kitty sticky note. I'm saving that. Because I like saving all the cards and stuff. They're right... They're right in front of my computer, so they're taking up some space. But, you know, the things I don't do for people. Okay, now this last one. If you're wondering, what could... Don't look at my address, but what could this be? It's so big. Now, before I open this, I want to make it clear that this is going to remain a cross-stitching channel with the occasional album review if I can ever get around to doing them. And you're thinking to yourself, well, what could be in there that would make us think it's no longer going to be a cross-stitching channel, huh? Let's just say that this gift, you know, I'll just poke myself, is from 
Danielle Citerista. It's a spool. What could it be? Oh, she even put the pool in there. Have you figured out what it is yet? Have you figured out what it is yet? It's a diamond painting chart or a diamond painting kit. Don't freak out. She had shown this on her one of her videos and I thought it was super duper cool and all I said was, "Ooh, I really like that dragon one because I'm drawn to fantasy or whatever." And she just sent me a Facebook message saying, hey, what's your address? I'm going to send you this diamond painting kit before I go on vacation. I'm like, what? You, what? you don't have to do that. And I'm like, do I need to reimburse you for anything? Because this wasn't cheap for her. The shipping itself was like $40. <laughs> and I'm like, do you want me to like give you anything for her? She's like, no, no, no. This is a gift. So please take it from me. And so she sent me a diamond painting chart or a diamond painting kit. I'm trying it out. I've always been curious to try a diamond painting. Do I want to really take this off so I can show you what it's going to be? Oh, you probably can't even see that. Can you see that a little bit? Maybe not really. Focus. Can you not really? It's supposed to be a dragon. God, there's some glare going on. I just really don't want to take it off the roller thing. You can kind of see it. <sighs> Maybe when I, you know, unravel it or something, I'll put a picture on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. More on that in a bit. So yes, thank you, Danielle. I hope you're having a great time on your cruise. I'm really upset you didn't take me, but it's, it, it, you know what? It is what it is. You deserve, you deserve your cruise. You deserve all of the things. Oh, and she sent me a card. She sent me a card that I just noticed that she sent me. Oh, that's cute. Kyle, read it. No. <laughs> it's fun. It's, I... Let's just say, Danielle, you are one of my favorite people, too. <laughs> I still have your first card. It always sits there. If I ever take pictures of my computer and put them on Instagram, it, you can always see her card in the bottom of the corner. Sorry, so, some things are just, you know, I don't want to read them just because it's, just because. She knows what she wrote me. She's not going to be upset that I didn't read what she wrote out loud. Okay. Today's a great day. <laughs> Kyle's got alcohol in him. Everything is just going so well. I got trash all over the room. Okay. What do I have next? Okay, so that was all of my haul. <sighs> Let me pause. Let me upload this video onto my computer so I still have room to do the last part of this. Okay, be right back. I'm back. Okay, so moving on. Once again, thank you to... All of the lovely people that just sent me stuff and that I bought stuff from. I love you all so much. Danielle, when are you going to take me on a cruise? Anyway, I'm not bitter. Anyway, so, um, in between the last clip and this one, I remember that I didn't tell you what I've been listening to lately. And... There's been one song that I have been fucking just playing nonstop the whole week. Um, this is a song I've literally not heard 
since I was probably six or seven. Because growing up, my mom listened to, like, everything 80s. All of her music was... It was either... We were hearing 80s pop music when my mom was in control of the radio. It was either 80s pop, 80s whatever, just 80s, or Shania Twain. That's all of it. Um, and this is a song that I've literally not heard since I was a kid. And I was one of my coworkers was giving me a ride home, and she had it on the Sirius XM... Um, station 80s on 8 and this song came up and when I when I heard it I was like oh my god I've not heard this song in literal decades literal decades I'm so old um, it's Heart and Soul by T-Pow T-Pow I don't know how to pronounce their name uh, if y'all don't even know what that song is, not to generalize, but I have a feeling most of you are older than me, so I have a feeling y'all know this song. Um, it's so good. I have it on repeat. I, it's been, I, I mean, it's in all my playlists now, including the one for work, so them sons of bitches are going to be hearing me play T-Pal to Pal. Depo for like ever now because I can't stop playing that. So I need to look up more of their songs because I don't really think they had many hits outside of Heart and Soul. But that one's really good. And I was looking up live videos of them performing the song just a year ago. She still sounds the same. And it's not lip sync. Lip synced. Lip synced. Lip sunk. Anyway. Um, go check it out. I'll put, I'll, you know what, I'll put a YouTube link to the official music video below. So that means y'all need to go watch. And listen. Yeah. I should create, if you all have Spotify, I should create a playlist of shit that I'm listening to. And then you guys can just follow me. Or follow me on Instagram. I'm always putting in my stories songs I've been listening to. Fucking Alanis, Michelle. You know, Alanis. Anyway. Now I'm just rambling by this point. Okay. New start. This was a kit that I got last week. And at the time, I just, you know, I, it's, I said it was Madonna and Child. I said it was from Design Works. And then... Katie, I put this on, I put, I put that I had started this on um, Instagram, and Katie, Stash Queen, commented, she's like, ooh, I've been wanting, always been wanting to start a Joan Elliott or something like that, and I'm like, wait, this is a Joan Elliott design? And I knew I had recognized the style of this shit before. It's such a Joan Elliott design. You can, like, in the face, that's where you can tell, in the faces. And... I'm like, I had to grab the chart, and inside the chart, oh yeah, designed by Joan Elliott. And I'm like, you know, it's weird, because I, I commented back to her, I'm like, oh, yeah, her name is on the chart. It's just weird, because it wasn't on the front. Yes, it is. God, I'm stupid. So this whole time, I'm just saying, oh, I just got this really awesome design from Design Works, not realizing it was a Joan Elliott design. So I've officially started my first ever Joan Elliott. I didn't get a lot done, but um, I just got this one color. You can't even tell what it is yet, but that's okay. I think this is the blanket for baby Jesus. Um, so, hey, I can see you. Um, so yeah, that's what I got done. I only worked on it for maybe that first day, and then I stopped because then life happened. Sorry. Which is why I didn't have a stitch with me this week. Life happened. You know, that's what it is. Y'all are already aware that life happens to me. So, there's that. That's the only new start that I had. And then, for my whip. Still working on Athena. Starting this coming week, Athena's going to be worked on a lot less. And I'll touch on that after this. So I got some more done. I don't remember what I have gotten done since my last video. 
I think I got more of all of this done and I cranked out a lot of this. Um, uh, Karen water lily color, celery. Now, I know with variegated threads, you're supposed to go one X at a time, but her, the, the Karen water lily, this one's celery. Um, it doesn't have a lot, if any, variegation to it. So I'm just doing the first leg of the row and then going back over because, you know. And here you can tell where my thread started to get, I, you can tell that I was really getting down on the nitty gritty with the thread because it's a little bit darker there. But, you know, I think it gives it depth, like waves in her dress or something. I don't know. I'm just talking on my ass by this point. So, yep, that's her dress. Sorry, I just spaced out for a second. Um, so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with her. I'm not moving as fast on her as I was like Rose of Sharon, but that's because this has also not been the only thing I've been working on the whole time. I've also been working on my Heaven and Earth design and um, two different kits. I haven't pulled out the Jesus with animals one yet since I actually opened it. Um, oh, I forgot I was wearing that. Um, but yeah, I mean, progress is going to come almost to immediate halt <laughs> next week because we're segueing into Sal time. Let me just open my drawers here. I have got... Oh, hey, speaking of Sal's. Okay, so before I get into the two I really want to talk about. Um, so I talked about how Garrett Conversitra and I are doing a Sal for Fairy Moon. Um, yeah, my fabric was sent to the wrong address. So that's going to be delayed for about a week because it went to my parents' house. And luckily they're coming up next weekend and they're just bringing it with them. So, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have made fun of Garrett. Because maybe that's karma. For his karma. Go watch my last video. Um, so that's going to be put on pause. Now, okay. The first sal that I'm going to be doing, and I've got confirmation that my fabric for it will be shipping on Monday. And they send. We're, we're saling this, people. Look at it. Now, I don't remember if I had mentioned where I got, I actually bought this chart off of eBay, brand new, at what seemed to be a lower price than what everybody else, anywhere else was charging it, but all the proceeds went to um, a non-profit organization called Paws, which helps orphan cats. See, there I go, donating to a cat foundation, I'm not a cat, a cat person. But they're like a no-kill shelter, non-profit shelter, and 100% of the money I spent for this went to that organization. So that's pretty cool. So yes, once my fabric shows up, which should be the end of next week, if it's shipping on Monday, although it's shipping from, I think, Wisconsin, so I that's probably wrong. Um, might even be before that. Follow me on Instagram, I, because the moment the fabric comes in, I'm starting this. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, and you have this, and you want to sell with me, follow me, and I'll announce what the hashtag to use is to sell this. So Trisha, if you're watching, I know you've already started it, but let's join my sell. And they send. Now the next one... I cannot wait, because I was going to wait until, until today to order all the stuff for it. And I, you know, talked about this last week. But I couldn't wait, so I've got... I instead, instead of waiting until today, which was payday, to order all of it, I ordered it all on Wednesday, so it could be here as soon as tomorrow. I think it might show up on Monday, though, maybe as late as Tuesday. The Hannah Sanderson Sampler. 1849. I'm going to link 
Sassy Jacks below. I didn't link them in the last video and I don't know why. But I would love to have as many people sell this with me as possible because this is such a beautiful... I mean, let's open up the back here. Get a... I want as many people to sell this with me as possible. Christine, stitch all the things. She's already on board. She ordered the chart and I think the fabric. And I've got the fabric and all the floss ordered for it. Now I'm doing the, oopsie. I gotta, okay, maybe I shouldn't wear that as a button. Hold please. Um, I've got all the, all the floss and fabric ordered. I'm using DMC cotton thread. Sassy Jacks has a kit set up with the thread. They've also got um, a kit set up for the Avors blah 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 um, silk thread kit if you want to use that instead. And they also have pre cut fabric for this at their website. So I'm going to link Sassy Jacks below. Just search for Hannah Sanderson sampler and the chart and the fabric and the kitted up thread should show up. And I thought it was all decent priced. And the fabric um, that's pre-cut will have a three inch border given around it. So I'm very, very excited to start this. Please follow me on Instagram because just like and they send, the moment the fabric shows up, I'm starting this. I will have a, a hashtag going. I'm not saying it on this video because I want more people to follow me on Instagram because I'm selfish like that and I'm also fun. So I will announce against, you know, the hashtag. If you've got this, whether it be you've already purchased the, the reproduction chart or you have the original Needlework magazines, let's sell it. Uh, the called for is at least an 18 count or 32 count linen. I'm doing the reproduction version with, it has more threads, uh, it has different thread colors, um, but they also get the listing for the, the original, not, I shouldn't say the original, but the, um, for the virgin, uh, virgin, for the version that was printed in the needlework magazines. That's that version, and here's the original Hannah Sanderson sampler. This is the one I'm doing. I'm getting the darker thread, uh, the darker fabric, and yeah. But if, I was originally going to get a lighter fabric, but I didn't want to wait, so I got uh, the darker fabric. But who knows, maybe it won't even be that dark. We'll, we'll see. So yes, all that will be linked below. Follow me on Instagram. I will have the hashtags. Ready? break. Okay. That's everything for me. I think this might be one of my shorter videos. Hold on. How long was that last clip? Almost a half an hour. Okay. So maybe about the same length. I just want to say before I close out here, the response to my videos, especially my last video, which already has over a thousand views, which I only thought my very first video was ever going to get a thousand views. And if there was going to be a video to get a thousand views after that, I thought it was going to be my second video because my second video had about 900 views. Um, I'm glad everybody felt as I did that my last video was probably my best video that I have recorded so far. I all the people on Instagram that have shouted me out, all the people in their videos that have shouted me out. I appreciate every single one for you, one of you, and I can't tell you how much I can't tell you how much this community has changed my life. I have never met such a loving, caring community. I mean, the person that gave me this, I, she didn't charge me for this. She just gave this to me. And this is out of print. She just, here, take it. I'm like, okay. You don't find, 
people, at least in my perspective, maybe it's maybe there are in the diamond painting community. I don't know because I'm not going to be part of that. I'm sorry, Danielle. We'll see. It's going to be a cross stitching channel, I promise. Anyway, you know, I don't think there are as many other groups of people that are that kind. Um, I do have another story of kindness, but I want to wait until next week to tell it because it's going it's going to make sense a week from now rather than right now but i just you know i feel incredibly lucky because you know i don't have a whole lot of friends that i see all the time or friends that i care about um but i just feel like everybody who i've talked to in the, this community they're my friends. That's why I keep saying I want to be best friends with everybody, because I do. Everybody is great. Everybody is awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool. It's just, you know... Unfor the only thing that's bad about this is that, you know, sometimes my bank account hates me. And that's okay. Because, you know what? I'm not spending it on drugs. I, I could be, but I'm not. It's going to cross-stitching. I just donated a um, hundred-some dollars to um, Michelle's Alzheimer's um, group thing. And that felt really good. To say, hey, all the stuff that I just bought, all that money is going to Alzheimer's. I mean, it's... It's kind of an awesome feeling and Julie Golf Coast Stitcher I the stuff that I bought from her sale last night a, a decent percentage of all those the money she's raising is going to Michelle's Alzheimer's and it's just you know you, you really don't find people or groups of people like this anywhere else and out of the cross stitching community out of a hobby I picked up because I was unemployed and I didn't know what the hell to do with my time. So I just want to say thank you to absolutely everyone. Please email me. I'm bored. I want to talk to people. Email me. It's always li linked below. Follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm funny. You can find me doing stand-up on YouTube. It's not on my channel. It's not on somebody else's channel. But you can see a 15-year-old Kyle do stand-up. I look different. I look sickly thin in that video. So that'll give you something to go look up. If you do look that up, just be aware that all of my jokes that I tell are Ellen DeGeneres jokes. So I wasn't very original. Anyway, so thank you to everyone. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you... Everybody else who sent me stuff, I love you all. Thank you, Christine. You know why I'm thanking you. Thank you, Trisha. You know why I'm thanking you, just because you're awesome. Um, and thank you to all that are watching. I, in the last, I think, two or three weeks, I jumped up to, like, 600-some subscribers. When, like, two or three weeks ago, I was at, like, 400 barely <sighs> McKenna what's up girl anyway so everybody keep being amazing let those fucks fly and say no to acid see everybody later